Would that be true? Of two, would that be true of two pennies as well? Two pennies yeah. saved is two pennies more than you would have saved if you had not saved them. Two would be more than not having saved any. Right. And now you start. And that's infinitely expandable, isn't it? That's not just about pennies. That could be nickels. I know the saying is about is about pennies, but the economics about nickels and dimes. A, a, a nickel saved is five pennies that you wouldn't have had if you hadn't saved them. That, that is exactly where I was going as well. So yeah. we talked about the penny. We talked about two cents. So let's carry that forward. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about four cents. Right. And then we should talk about eight cents. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this question. Do we then talk about 64, mm -hmm. which would be eight times eight? Right. Or do we talk about 16, right. which is eight plus eight? And right. following the math, so we did one. And ironically, one times zero, I didn't have any. No, didn't, wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you, you, don't, you don't save that one penny. You have exactly zero pennies. Yes. yes. And yeah. so in post-World War II modern era, quote unquote, math, one times zero would be zero. zero. But in yeah. this case, a penny saved would be one penny. Mm-hmm.